The founder of a university college in Ghana and campaigner to raise the quality of higher education across Africa has won a major global education award. He's Patrick Awa. He left Ghana in the 1980s to take up a scholarship in the US. After a big career with Microsoft, he returned to found the Ashishi University College and he's now won the Wise Prize. It's worth $500,000. Patrick Awa joins us now live here on the news hour. Patrick, good to talk to you and congratulations. What does this mean for you? Thank you very much. This is uh, an incredible honor for me and for Chester University. And I hope that, and I'm very optimistic, that this actually raises the stature of Ashesi uh, in Africa and in the world. How do you plan to, if indeed do you plan to, ensure a kind of a trickle down, not just for yourself, for your own institution and for the students and children you work with, but across the country, indeed across that part of the country? Yes, one of the things that we've done is, over the years, we've been engaged with high schools. We've brought kit children from high schools to come to Ashesi to study robotics and engineering during our summer vacation. We'll continue to do that. We've done work to do teacher training for high school teachers. We'll continue to do that. And this year, we started an initiative uh, that we're calling the Education Collaborative, where we invited 12 universities from around the continent to come and join us on our campus to talk about curriculum and pedagogy and career preparation for students. And so this will boost that effort, I believe, that with this WISE Prize, when we go talk with other universities, that we will have more credibility and they're going to be more likely to want to join the collaborative. OK, when you talk about robotics, when you talk about a collaborative there, I'm guessing here that the young people you work with, they must be the Stephen Hawking of their generation. I mean, they've got big brains. But how do you make sure that that IQ stays in Africa and you're not creating high-tech industrial nomads who go to the States, they go to Canada, they go to Europe, because that's where those hubs of things like robotics are based? What we found is that about 90% of our graduates stay in Africa. They stay in Ghana or they go to their home country in Africa. And the reason they do so is that they find good jobs here. Um, and the training that they've received, the education that they've received at Ashesi, is actually exactly the kind of education that corporate Africa needs. When a student studies robotics, they're really studying, um, they're, they're, they're studying mechanics, they're studying computer science, they're studying data analytics, they're studying how to use sensors, and all of those, and machine intelligence, all of those are actually very useful in other parts of the economy. Data really good. analytics, for example, can be deployed differently than for using moving machines around um, in real space. Okay, really good to talk to you, Patrick. Good luck with your future endeavors. Thank you very much.